The City University Colour Vision Test is a subjective test that measures a person's colour vision loss. It helps establish, to some extent, the type and severity of an individual's variation from normal colour vision. The Sydney University Colour Vision Test is sometimes said to be more accurate and numerically measurable than the Ishihara Test, as the City University Colour Vision Test picks up on Triton loss, whereas the Ishihara is only sensitive to red-green deficiencies. You may be asking what exactly is colour blindness or colour vision loss, so let us briefly touch on that before moving on to showing you how the test itself is conducted. Colour blindness is when a person has difficulty in discerning specific colours, typically greens, yellows, oranges and reds. This condition results from an absence of colour sensitive pigment in the cone cells of the retina, that's a nerve layer at the back of the eye. Colour blindness does not in fact cause any blindness or lack of vision, it simply relates to a deficiency of colour vision. Colour blindness affects approximately 1 in 12 men and 1 in 200 women in the world. Colour blindness can either be inherited or acquired through vitamin A deficiencies or degenerative diseases of the eye such as macular degeneration, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy or cataracts. There are three types of colour vision deficiencies and they are known as deutinopia, protonopia and tritonopia. Deutronopia colour vision deficiencies are by far the most common forms of colour blindness. It is a red-green colour blindness where patients are less sensitive to green light. Protonopia is actually also a red-green blindness, but in this, patients are less sensitive to red light. Tritonopia is blue-yellow colour blindness where the patients confuse blue with green and yellow with violet. Now let's watch the test being conducted in clinic. Good morning, I'm Miss Reed and I'm going to be your orthoptist for today. So we're going to do a colour vision test to assess your colour vision, but just before we start, I'm going to run through your details quickly. So is it Miss Smith, 13 C Scenic Drive Bundura? Yes. Great. Okay, um, do you wear any reading glasses at all? No. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm just going to get you to hold up the test. Yeah. As if you'd read, you were when you're reading a book. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just get you to bring it a little bit further back. It is important that the pages are held by the patient at a distance of 35 centimetres and that the plates are at 90 degrees to their line of sight. It is also important to note that if the patient wears reading glasses, these should be worn for the test. The third edition of the City University Colour Vision Test will be utilised in this video and the test itself is divided into two parts. Part 1 is primarily used as a quick screening tool to ascertain whether there is a colour vision deficiency. Part 2 is the detection or selection part of the test, which determines if there is a colour vision deficiency present and what type it is, whether that be proton, deuton or triton loss. Yep, so this is part 1 over here, so it's just a series of three lines in, in each part. And I want you to tell me if there's one dot that's a different colour, just without touching the page. So we'll start in the top left corner. Okay. okay so just that one there. They're they could all, all be the same. Yeah, they're all look the same. Okay, great. And then that one there? Uh, the top one. Yep. And this one down here? They all look the same. Yep. And that one there? The one in the middle. Great. Yep. And just the same thing again starting here? They all look the same. That one there? The one at the top. The one at the top again. Great. And the one in the middle. Yep. Same starting at the top again. They all look the same. That one there? The one in the middle. The one at the top and just there. They all look the same. Perfect. And one last time, just starting there again. The one at the bottom. Yep. Just uh, there. They all look the same. The one at the top. Great. And the one in the middle. Perfect. There is a legend of symbols on the left to help indicate if the patient has either a deuton, proton, or triton vision loss. The examiner must cross off the correctly identified dots. If there is an error, no markings must be made on the recording sheet. The examiner must then tally all the correctly identified dots. If the total is 9 or 10, this indicates normal colour vision or colour vision that is adequate for daily functioning. If the total score is less than 8, this indicates that there is a colour vision defect and further testing would be required to identify the degree of colour vision. Okay, so now we're on to part two of the test. All the slides are going to look like this. I just want you to tell me which um, dot is the most similar to the colour in the middle. Is it the top, right, bottom, left? So just tell me without touching the page again, please. Uh, the top. Okay, great. 
The first plate of part two of the test is referred to as the demo plate and is used to test the patient's understanding of the instructions for the test. All patients should see the top dot as being the most similar to the one in the middle and if a different response is given, then make sure that the patient has understood the test. Yep. And this one, the one on the right, the one on the left, The one on the right, the one on the left, the one on the right, again the one on the right, great, that's the end of the test. When recording the results, the examiner must first mark the patient's response as top, bottom, left or right in the left hand column and after completion of the test the appropriate letter in the diagnosis column must be encircled. As it is shown here the patient in the video has scored 6 out of 6 in the normal column and thus has normal colour vision and no colour deficiency. Okay so you did a great job as you can see you got um, 6 out of 6 and answered all the questions as you were supposed to so that means you've got no colour vision defect and your colour vision is quite normal. Let's take a very quick look at what some results would look like if a patient had a colour vision deficiency. All three of the examples shown here show severe colour vision losses, but it is possible to have a mild to moderate loss of colour vision. This would be indicated by scores of between 3 and 6 on part 2 of the City University colour test.